Hello, 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 y'all. Do not attempt to adjust your screen. This is not a drill. This is not uh, a false alarm. This is your homeboy, Tyler Ramey. I haven't completely deserted you. I know it's been a literal hot minute since I've uploaded a video, and for that, I am very sorry, but uh, life has been very busy lately. And I really thought about, like, should I come, like, I was always going to come back, but <clears throat> should I be, like, overly explaining and apologetic? Like, nothing really has happened. I've just been super busy with real estate and lots of updates in terms of where I'm teaching fitness classes. Um, lots of new and exciting things are going on. And I've just been busy, y'all. YouTube, honestly, I'm just going to say it, has been at the bottom of my personal priority list and I am sorry for that. Thanks to those of you that are watching the video and that have stuck around with me. I appreciate that. It is Vlogmas. I debated a long time because I thought I'm only going to do the first day of Vlogmas if I'm going to commit to the 25 days and I am going to commit to the full 25 days. I'm not going to promise that every day will be a full length feature film, but it will be something in Tyler Ramey's life. So hello! I've missed y'all. I truly have missed y'all. I've been slacking on watching my friends on YouTube. Um, it's just been busy, y'all. Right now, I'm on my way. It is December 1st. Happy December 1st and happy first day of Vlogmas. It does feel good to be back. I am on my way right now to the grocery store to get some crackers for some dips that I brought from Nick's Chicken, local restaurant that I love here uh, where I live in Northeast Tennessee. And I'm going to a Christmas party. It's an ornament exchange, so I'm super excited about that. I've got my ornament to exchange. I've got a board game we're going to play, and I am picking up the food. What I also wanted to show you guys today, and I probably won't do a very in-depth review, but I got a, I call it a Merce. It's my Merce. I've been debating this Merce literally off for probably going on two years, um, and I finally got it today in the mail, and I'm super excited to show it to you. It is the Marc Jacobs Snapshot Bag. I will put a link below to the Marc Jacobs website where I finally caved in and got it. I was in New York uh, probably about a month ago, and I picked up a Marc Jacobs bag of the one that I wanted to at a fraction of the cost, if you know what I'm saying, without coming right out and saying it, just because I wanted to have the bag and see it and make sure the size worked for me and what I needed it to be. So that worked out well. So I finally bit the bullet and ordered it. Um, it's pricey for what I consider a bag. It was $325 plus tax, but um, I will use it every day. And so... Like I said, I wanted to get that like sample bag to make sure that it was something that I was actually going to use. I'm getting ready to park at the grocery store and that is when I will actually show you what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's that time y'all in Northeast Tennessee where it gets dark at about crack of five o'clock PM. And so I am going to have to depend on the kindness of the overhead lights at the food city. So let me get pulled in here and then we're gonna talk about handbag real quick. And then honey, I'm gonna have to make this relatively short and sweet because Tyler Ramey has a Christmas party. It's raining. Um, first of all, let me show you, look at this cute. This is a whole thing. I've got a Band-Aid on here, you can't tell. I fell running, I'm completely fine. But if you see like a weird Band-Aid and like gross stuff that's from that. It's completely fine and it's healing. Anyway, squirrel, um, this is a cute, I got this at Marshall's. It's cats getting caught in the Christmas lights. It's got a little white puffy there. And inside is the Christmas ornament that I'm taking to the ornament exchange. And it is a poke bowl, poke bowl, poke bowl. I never know how to say that. So you've got your salmon, your rice, looks like some radish, lime, cucumbers. Isn't that cute? I love pokey. So that's what I'm taking to the ornament exchange tonight. Super excited about that. Okay, let me show you the Marc Jacobs bag that I got in New York City. This lighting is horrendous, but I wanna show you. So this is the all black version of the Marc Jacobs bag that I got at a fraction of the cost. 
I just wanted to see for size. It's got two main compartments. It's very small. That's always been my concern with this bag. I wanted to make sure that it would fit all my necessities. Luckily, it has made me really downgrade my accessories because let's face it, y'all, I'm always in athleisure. I never have pockets. Back in the day, I used to just cram everything in my pockets or just hold everything and it was a nightmare. And I thought, you know what? I'm getting on board the Merce train and those people that don't like it can just not like it. They can just not like it and that's okay. Um, but I'm gonna have a cute Merce. So I got this. I always put my phone in the front compartment and all my other essentials in the back compartment. Let me show you my brand new baby. This is in the color Wolf Gray Multi. This is the Marc Jacobs. Thumbnail. Can we do a thumbnail normal? Um, I do want to show you with the lights on. So it's hard to see right now because again, we're in very dreary, almost dark. It's gray on the front. It's a beautiful metallic gray with silver. It's got the two main compartments. This is like a khaki tan color. I don't know if it's really coming across, but this is a khaki tan. It says Marc Jacobs. On the back, we've got a shiny silver back slip pocket for credit cards or whatever you wanted to put in there. The thing that I love about this bag is that, one of the things, is that the zippers go in opposite directions, which I found to be very handy. Two main compartments. The inside is a beautiful gray. It does have one slip pocket in the back here for cards. And what I'm gonna show you today is a little bit of what's in my bag as I transition all my items from the old Marc Jacobs bag to the Marc Jacobs snapshot bag. So let's just see what I've got in here. Um, and again, I've only been putting my essential items. I will say this one is slightly larger than the actual bag, which makes me a little bit nervous, but I don't think it will be enough to tell. I'm just gonna pull items out one at a time and I'll show you as I go. Purell Honey Hand Sanitizer. Usually I have Bath & Body Works, but this is from New York, so this goes in my bag because, you know, you always have to have your hand sanitizer at the ready. Um, I've got an LMNT packet in my bag. This is a very salty drink that is a godsend if you are doing a lot of exercise, doing anything where you're sweating a lot, where I do hot yoga basically every day. I almost have one of these packets every day. Do your own research, but I absolutely love them. L-M-N-T, Element. This is in the flavor watermelon salt. It's delicious. It tastes just like an actual watermelon. They are super salty, so they take some getting used to, but I highly, highly, highly recommend these. Love them. So that goes in there. Put that in there. Um, I was in New York this year at some point, and I found this cute little tin full of these cinema roll. This is a Sanrio character. Um, it, it was like lychee mints. It's all in Japanese in the back, but I just fell in love with the size. It's really teeny tiny, and it's again, it's metal. And what I do is keep my ibuprofen and Tylenol because there's two things that I never want to be without, and that's ibuprofen and Tylenol. So that's going in the bag for sure. Um, next up, I've got keys to my mailbox. I've got keys to my real estate office. Um, and I've got a key to my friend Steph's house, just some essential keys and then a cute little New York City keychain with a subway car, which is super cute. So that goes in there. I can't be anywhere without a smell good situation. So right now I've got a Twilight Woods Bath and Body Works uh, perfume spray, which by the way, I need a little something something. So let's go ahead and give that a spritz. I like these small size because they're teeny tiny and they fit down in the bag nicely. So that goes in there. Um, two more things y'all and I think that's it. I've got my key fob for my car. That way when I approach it, it will unlock and when I leave with it, it will lock. So that's obviously super handy and a must have. And also, y'all, I've tried about 16,000 different things. Okay. This is the only thing I like. I've tried literally thousands. It's just the original Burt's Bees. That's the only thing that works for me. It's the only thing that works for my lips. I love it every single time. It's a staple in my life. There's my friend Gina and her daughter. I hope I see them in the grocery store. Um, I have to text her. Oh, it's like heaven on your lips, honey. Heaven on your lips. Burt's Bees goes right in. And then last but not least are all of my credit cards. I've got my Allegiant World MasterCard. I've got my bank cards. I've got my driver's license. 
and I've got my insurance card. So all of those are gonna go in the slip. As you can see, I put every single thing we talked about in that back container, that's what it looks like. It's very comfortably not packed, which is nice. There's lots of room in there still. So that back is full. I'm psychotic and won't put anything back here. A, I don't wanna stretch this out, and B, I'm a psychopath and think that things could fall out. So this will be for looks only. And then obviously in that front pocket, I will dedicate to just putting my phone when it's time to do that. So out with the old and in with the new. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she just lovely? Let me give you an absolutely great shot of her. It's, I just, I'm obsessed with this logo. I'm obsessed with the double pocket. I'm obsessed with the color, y'all. I wish I could portray how this beautiful gray with the silver and then this tan on the top. Um, the alternating zippers I'm obsessed with. This amazing zipper pull. The people in the grocery store parking lot are like, what's, what's truly happening in the car? Um, I really like the thick guitar strap a lot. It's obviously detachable. Um, I'm just obsessed with it. It's 100% leather and I couldn't love it anymore if I tried. That being said, I'm gonna run in here to the grocery store, y'all. This is day one of Vlogmas, I promise you, 25 videos. Um, and again, who knows what they're gonna be, but I will be doing them. So please give this video a like, please comment and subscribe, and please share this on your social media because it will encourage me that much more to continue with Vlogmas. I've missed y'all, I love you so much, and I will see you for day two of Vlogmas. I don't know what we're gonna get into tomorrow, but guess what, you gotta come back to see. Love y'all, bye.